The original Victorian is a pretty early Victorian, about 1860. It wasn't spectacular in terms of it didn't have huge ceiling heights or really intricate lace work. But the thing that struck me about it most was it, I never saw it as just one house on its own. It's one of five. And across the front of the property, um, you'll see Charlemont Terrace, which is the name of the five row houses of terraces. So one of the reasons for the approach to the new parts of the building that you see from the street, and that they're lower and they're black and they're lighter looking, is to make it distinct or make it appear like an almost a shadow line. So you can you isolate this terrace in its street. This property is on the land of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. My name's Andrew Child. This is my house. I'm an architect and I'm the designer of Fitzroy Laneway House. We're in Fitzroy. It's next to and just northeast of the city of Melbourne. Uh, it's a vibrant area. There's a lot of people, especially during the morning and afternoon, going to and from work. They move through the city. There's a lot of Victorian housing stock. A lot of old buildings and mixed with new, interesting little uh, pieces of architecture. The main part of the brief was to house my family. Um, we are also looking for somewhere that could accommodate us well into the future, so they had flexibility in the way we might want to live. We were after something that was quite informal and felt relaxed, wanted to have fun here. And we were also interested in Fitzroy, so we looked around the suburb for ideas that might help us get started on the project. The site was quite unique, not only because it's got two streets, a front and a back, but also because it's got this strip of land running down the southern boundary beside the existing house, which we think might have been one of these old privately created laneways. Upstairs, we have what's essentially a parent's retreat with a master bedroom and a little study space and a little hidden uh, ensuite. Um, there's lots of uh, exposed brickwork. And then we have the back building. Um, upstairs is currently used as my office. And together with the bathroom, this could become a studio apartment for my son when he gets older, or a completely separate tenancy because it can be accessed separately from the street and can be locked off from the rest of the building and the rest of the property. Downstairs at the moment, my son uses that as a music studio, so he can enter from the courtyard. Um, but he often enters from the street and his mates come over from the street and hang out with him. Now, sometimes we don't even know they've been there until we look at the fridge in the morning and half the food's gone. So we love the courtyard. We love that you're surrounded by the greenery, but we also love that you can hear the sounds of the suburb surrounding it. We've got uh, the crazy paving continues out there. So that gives it a kind of a rustic, informal feel. And we've got uh, a mixture of plants in gardens, but also in pots that we can sort of move around should we need to. So generally the internal material palette is to use or we use robust and external looking materials with the intention of making the place feel quite informal and relaxed and grounded and to make the new parts feel outside of the rooms of the existing Victorian. So some of the materials we used are recycled red brick, um, there's crazy paving on the floors along with concrete, there's lots of timber cladding that you'd normally use outside, it's been used inside, there's stainless steel, bench tops and there's lots of steel joinery. Yeah, everyone loves the green tiling. The idea was just that it blended out into the green area of the courtyard. Um, but it seems to work well with the existing brick and a lot of the brass tapware we've used. It gives it a kind of a, a sort of a lush feel. So I wanted the house to feel like a sanctuary, but I still want it to feel like we're connected to Fitzroy. So the way we've approached it is we've created a lot of large windows 
which give us options to greenery, to, to neighbouring buildings, to views across rooftops, back to our own building. And then if things change, which can happen, neighbours can move out, trees can be knocked down and walls can be built, so views can, can change. So we've created lots of large windows with devices like shading blinds, timber screens, metal screens, curtains, drapes. We've got some hanging planters, all things that help us with managing the privacy, but still give us those views out and make us feel connected to Fitzroy.